Hey, what's up? My name is Victor and today we will talk about how to prevent direct access to few of your PHP files on your website. Let's say your website is a house and you have walls and windows. And if somebody wants, they can get inside of your house through the windows. And today I will show you how to secure your windows. And whenever you build a website, basically you have two PHP files that you play around. So the first one could be the header.php and then footer.php. Right now I have an index.php file and in this file I will require those two files which is header.php and footer.php So I have my header.php file here and then the footer and between those two I will output World. Let's go ahead and create the header.php and the footer.php. In my header, I will show just header here. In my footer, All right, let's save this file. Let's, let's open our browser and let's refer to index.php. So when we access the index.php, we see here the headers content, the, the index content, and the footers content. Right now, if I'm going, I mean, if, I, if we go to our URL and we type here header.php, and when we access the header.php file, it shows us the headers content. But I want to hide this content. I don't want to allow people to access this PHP file because usually this file I just require wherever I need. And if somebody wants to access it directly, then there is a bad reason for do. I mean, to do that from from the user side. So in order to hide this PHP file, we should go in our index.php and right before we require the header.php, let's define a variable like my header and then we put it through and in our header.php we check if there isn't any defined variable like my header then we show an exit function and in this function we will show stop doing that let's save them let's save the index.php too and let's go to our let's go back to our browser let's try to access the header.php now so when we do that it shows us stop doing that because it didn't find any my header any defined variable like my header in our header.php when we access them directly let's go to our index.php in our index.php it shows the headers content because we define we have a defined variable here which is my header and then after that we require our header.php so when we require a file it's same thing when it's like you copy all this code and paste it in this line so once we already defined our my header variable when we just require the header.php this one checks here is there any defined variable like my header yes there is in our index.php which is which is um, right before we require our file so in this case it doesn't show this exit function all right let's do the same thing with our footer so right before we require our footer.php let's define a new variable my footer and then in our footer we check if there isn't any variable any defined variable like my footer then we show the exit function 
and we shall stop. Let's save it. Let's check the index.php, it shows it. And then if we go to our footer.php, it shows us stop. It doesn't show the footer's content. So in this way, you can hide the content for a few of your PHP files that you just want to require them uh, in a special places, wherever you want. Um, that's it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Subscribe for this channel. Share it with your friends. And see you in the next video tutorial.